Hello and welcome to Non-Stop Wrestling Chat. My name is Barry and this is the one that people have been waiting for. The Eva Marie debut on Raw. And I know there's a bunch of you out there that have been waiting for me to upload this video. So you can hear me shouting. Um, there might be some shouting towards the end. But there will be consistent swear words and uh, eye rolls and moaning throughout the, the show. So uh, aye. <laughs> Don't forget to hit like, subscribe and that beautiful notification bell. Strap yourself in and get ready for me to bitch about this terrible fucking show. Right guys, so we kick off Raw with Alexa Bliss. Nia Jax walks into frame and challenges her to a match. Alexa laughs it off and accepts. The first eye roll was inserted here because why are we doing this? What is Alexa doing? What even is her powers? What are we doing? Where are we going with this? Why is this a thing? I feel that they this worked a little bit and they just went full board with it and knew the fuck knows where the fiend is. They're just like, let's keep going. But aye. Then Charlotte Flair versus Nikki Cross because we had to see that again. Obviously, Nikki Cross ended up getting the win because of uh, Rhea. Look, I'm happy there's a bunch of Scottish wrestlers in this show. You know, I'm, I'm mega patriotic about my country. But, eh... Uh, Still need to criticise when I'm doing fucking shite. And this, honestly, is, is, is terrible. What The commentary is putting Nikki Cross over as if she's getting pinfall clean victories over Charlotte and Rhea. She hasn't. She's got lasting two minutes in count outs. Like, what the fuck? One star for this guy. So after it, Charlotte comes back in the ring, beats the shit out of Nikki Cross, then Rhea comes in and saves her. Do you know, consistency is key in anything in life, right? Rhea was pissed that Nikki Cross bet on she wanted a rematch. Charlotte was pissed. No. Charlotte, Charlotte is hitting Nikki and Rhea comes for the save. As she hits, she wants to get Charlotte. But what's the point? It makes no sense. Then we get Jeff Hardy versus John Morrison. John Morrison gets a win. I'm not even rating this. It was because Kendrick Alexander came out. After that Kendrick Alexander's hitting out that he's sorry, he respects... Um, sorry, guys. He, the bin men normally don't come today, but I, He respects uh, Jeff, but the only thing he regrets is no putting Jeff in a retirement home. And then Jeff goes, well, if you can beat me in a retirement match right now, like, what? The fuck are these people doing? Who is writing this bitch? There's no need for this. Build a fucking story. Do it for four weeks. For the people that say, oh, no, we... People don't want long-term storytelling. Not every great storyline in history has pretty much been a long-term fucking storytelling, but let's just throw that out of the window because that's not what people want anymore. Um, apparently, if you look at Twitter and some people comment on my videos... So we date for four weeks, three weeks, fuck date for two weeks and put it on at hell and date for a week and put it on at hell in the cell in a retirement match. Why the fuck is this a thing? It's pish. Then we get, so Jeff versus Kendrick Alexander. Jeff gets a win. As obviously, of course, there's no going to make him retire, but he gets in like 250 just to fucking ruin Kendrick Alexander even more. Then Eva Marie makes her debut. And she's not alone. She's there with Piper Niven, another great Scottish wrestler. But why the fuck is she teamed up with Eva Marie? Piper Niven and Eva Marie versus Naomi. So it's Piper versus Naomi. Piper gets the win in like a minute. So you're telling me you're throwing a great wrestler like Naomi under the fucking bus just to put over Piper Niven who Eva Marie is teamed with. Is anybody else getting the whiff of what they tried today with Eva Marie and Nia Jax and it was fucking disastrous? They're just going to do the exact same thing here. And once again, when it's shite, you have to call it out. It doesn't matter if they're Scottish, if they're no. This is pish and it makes no sense. There has not even been a build-up. Eva Marie's just been talking about her coming back to be like the, the evolution, whatever the fucking shit is. And then this pish has to happen. Honestly, this is this is this is so shite and tone deaf by fucking WWE. Just put on something half decent. Even when he grabs a mic, then announces herself as a winner. 
great. Woo! Aye, whatever. Drew's kind of talking about stuff. I, I, I really don't know why he was talking about shit that he was talking about. I don't care. I, I'm, I don't know how you can take somebody that's from where I live, not that far from where I live, is a good wrestler and make me know that interested in him. Thanks, WWE, for that. Then you get Matt Riddle and Randy Orton versus The New Day. Best match of the night, 2.5 stars. The wrestling was good. They had got some time to work, arguably a little bit too long. 20 minutes, it was the longest match in the fucking show, um, or one of them. Aye, then we got Asuka versus Rhea Ripley for the 50 millionth time because we've not seen it enough and not seen Rhea consistently win against the same person every month, every week since WrestleMania. Anyway, Rhea got the win. It was a good match. Asuka put on a good good show, helping Rhea look good as well, which uh, is all we can really ask. 2.5 for this one too. Then Charlotte and Rhea have a little thing, um, which was actually pretty cool. But I'm no in, I'm no buying into Charlotte versus Rhea, and I swear to God, I, I just I, if Charlotte gets a win, it's just going to be a slap in the face, really, isn't it? But then it's like Rhea doesn't even seem like the fucking champion anyway. Then Alexa Bliss versus Nia Jax. Alexa Bliss wins via, win, what? Wins via TQ. I'm not going to rate this, guys. And again, I'm going to rate it. What the hell is Alexa's powers? But she stay after it, she like stares at Reggie and then he stares at her, the turn heads and then turns to the side, she leaves the ring and then he snaps out of it. What the fuck is the power? What are you doing? Why has she got powers? Nobody's explaining this. Oh, it's a PG show. I don't care if this is a fucking PG you. This is child friendly cartoon morning. This is pish and kids will find it pish and all. The only reason it made wrestling good was people could look up to it and be like, I want to be like this, or I want to be push the envelope like these guys. Fucking. Then you got Eli versus Jackson Riker. Aye, no. AJ Styles versus Drew McIntyre. Drew gets a DQ win. Two stars. It was actually a good match right up till the end, but when it was a DQ finish, so who cares? Then the Viking Raiders come out, attack Lashley. And you know how that turns into the Viking Raiders and Drew versus AJ Omos and Bobby Lashley. <sighs> Drew and the Viking Raiders get the win. Two stars. It's, it, right, I, it was okay show. Uh, an okay match. Okay wrestling. Um, all I'm going to say is if that match seemed through together, is probably because it was booked there. It seemed like it was booked when somebody was doing a shite and just came out and went, why don't you do this? Overall, 1.5 stars, 1 star, nothing. This was a shit show. I can't even be arsed with this shit anymore. You know, every single Monday I watch this show in the morning. I get up at 3am, go to the gym, and I watch the three hours of Raw. And if one person, you know what it's like on Twitter, oh, well, if you don't like it, don't watch it. If you don't, if, if you don't want to do it. I'm watching this because I want this to be great. I remember wrestling being fantastic and it wasn't just when I was younger. There's great moments from 2016 as well that I've done a, a review in one of the, the guys' channels and uh, it, it was a good good pay-per-view. There, there's been great moments but there hasn't been great and people stop saying that it's because fans are there. I don't care. People put on great matches in front of six people. These guys are... There's no fans there, right? I know fans, but there's a million people watching at home. So there's a million fans there. This was pish. This was really, really pish. It was bad. The Orton and Riddle stuff is the only thing I'm tuning into Raw for at the minute. I don't give a shit about Drew McIntyre against Bobby Lashley. Do you know, I wasn't a big fan of Bobby Lashley being the WWE Champion at the start. I just feel he's not being goosed, right? He has to go against somebody that's going to make him, that like, he can look good against. And him against Drew, they did a good match. But that was at Mania. Let it go. We, what they have done hasn't they been that fun since Mania. And I would love to see Bobby Lashley go up against... Put Bobby Lashley against Shelton Benjamin. Bobby Lashley against Kendrick Alexander because they broke up the hurt business. Bobby Lashley against Orton, against Riddle. Again, do you know what I mean? There's a bunch of stuff that you could do 
Small storylines leading up to a bigger one, when you could have Drew and Bobby Lashley go against each other at SummerSlam, again, instead of from having these two wrestle each other all the way to there. But guys, why have they put Piper Niven with Eva Marie? Why are they building Nikki Cross as if she's she's getting clean pinfoil wins? Also, why did commentary... Why did commentary no know who Piper Niven was? Like, act like they didn't know who it was. Are they saying that NXT UK is that boring to watch? There's no point in us fucking watching it anyway because they're not watching it. Which it feels like as well. I don't watch NXT UK often. When I do, it's always fun. But I always forget when it's on. They had to save up a few episodes and I'll whack it on. But... Casual fans aren't fucking watching NXT UK, so I get where commentary's coming from. But all they have to say is she's from NXT UK and put it over a wee bit. Or are we going to forget that part of the history and just be like, Eva's the, the woman who, honestly, fuck this push. This fucking show is shite. And I did, Riddle and Orton are the only good things going on in this thing. And the rest of it is, it's fucking disastrous to watch. Now I know there's been a lot of swearing and I've pretty much shouted for the past 11 minutes, guys. But what really gets me is, right, and I've said this so many times, I love wrestling. I love it. I watch it daily. Every day, I watch something. A match, a promo. I have the WWE Network on in the back. I normally fall asleep with it on. Or if I'm at the gym, I'll put something on. If I'm out for a run, I'll listen to some sort of wrestling podcast or something. It's something that I love. And it's just getting so hard to participate in watching these Monday night fucking Raws. And it's just getting so... So shit at the minute to watch this. And people can't defi- people can't sit and say, Oh, Piper Nivens came up. That's good. And that's it. It's a three hour fucking show. You can't define one person making a fucking debut. And this is meant to be a good show. This is meant to be the stable. The staple of wrestling. Monday Night Raw. The bet WCW. That's been there for so long. That's meant to be the best show in wrestling. And this is what we get. Shite. Utter. Pish. And I don't care if people need to say. You're just a mark. You're, you're this. You're whatever. This has got to be the lowest point of wrestling. Ever. It has to be. Nothing. If it is, What's the ratings going to be like? Is it going to get worse than this? Because who's watching this pish anymore? Anyway, guys. <laughs> you love a Monday night raw rant on a Tuesday. Don't lie to me. I know you love it. Anyway, guys. I'm going to love you and leave you there. Um, I'll see you back here tomorrow um, for the NXT review. You can find out about William Regal. And then I think I've got my fantasy booting video up tomorrow as well. I'm actually going to be working on that today. So it'll either be Wednesday or Thursday. That'll be up. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And I'll see you back here tomorrow.